Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this episode, I would like to go over uh, fridges and coolers that we have in the game. Uh, this is based off a uh, comment and ask or a question by one of the viewers of my channel, uh, Fortini Marzelli. Hope I didn't butcher that. And um, just like to kind of answer it in the video because I'm sure if a person is asking, you know, other people are wondering the same thing. And when you look online, there's not a whole lot of information on them. You know what I mean? So uh, let's take a look uh, at some options that we got. Let's go to my build menu. It's going to be different for everyone. Um, these are under appliances. Okay. Uh, so here is a stainless uh, refrigerator. Okay. And uh, one circuitry, one copper, two rubber, two steel. Okay. This is the cooler. Same thing, one, cir one circuitry, one copper, two rubber, two steel. And here is the beer barrel fridge, one circuitry, one copper, two rubber, two steel kind of thing. And um, so pretty much the same thing, same deal. Um, they're pretty nice. I usually, I get these off the Atomic Shop. Uh, the rare time, if I see them, if I see something that I like or something I haven't uh, kind of missed out on in the past and would like it, I'll just usually kind of purchase it. But they all do uh, the same exact uh, thing, okay? And as you can see, uh, you can see the, the cooler. We can build 10 of these in, uh, in your camp, okay? Uh, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> so the question more so came about because uh, this week, uh, this is the uh, August 9th, uh, 2023. So yesterday, the, the 8th, we had the Atomic Shop Weekly Reset. And um, this particular bundle here, Down Home Comfort. Okay, there's a, um, right there, there's the beer barrel fridge inside. Now, uh, it's been a little while since I've had mine, but I believe I purchased this quite a while ago, but it was for 500 atoms, like by itself. Okay, just by itself. Uh, but I highly recommend getting at least a fridge or a cooler in your camp. And uh, so we're going to take a look at that real quick. So I had this one back here. I've been testing this for, I would say, the last hour. Okay, so here's my beer barrel fridge. Okay, so here we go. So when this first uh, came out, I think we were only allowed to put like 10 or 15 items inside. But now, as you can see, at the top right-hand corner, we could put 150 items in this fridge. Okay. Or cooler or whatever whatever you have similar okay 150 items so that's that's a big deal that's a lot but if you see at the bottom of that okay you see max 1200 okay this ties in to your stash box all right so if your stash box is full okay you can have the max amount of these coolers and refrigerators in your camp you won't be able to put anything in them because you're maxed out so that ties into the total weight you know of your you know of your stash box so fyi on that okay and uh but most times uh food that you put in there doesn't weigh a whole lot anyway so i started this geez yeah it's it's been yeah it's been about an hour okay so i grabbed some stuff okay some stuff that was brand new i even cooked some stuff and i put them in the refrigerator okay over here and as you can see for the last hour, uh, some of them have moved quite a bit. Some have not. Okay. Now the stuff on the other side, this is what I have on my person. Okay. So I did this all at the same time. So this rag steak meat, for example, you see it's, it's less than half. Okay. I wouldn't say it's a quarter left. I would say it's just less than half. But if you look at the other meat that I put at the same time, it's just barely a little sliver have gone. But I would, I would say, I would say that little sliver, okay, that's gone and inside the refrigerator as compared to inside, like, you know, on my person, I would say it's about 50%. Okay. And the same thing with this corn. So I, I, I wanted to do meat and I want to do corn, like a veg, vegetarian side. So the corn that I picked up in my camp, put it inside this refrigerator. And as you can see, it's about half. It's about half. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than half. It's really hard to tell with that little bar. Okay. Then we look at the corn that's on my person. 
right? I have less than 25%. That's maybe 10%. It's hard, it's hard to uh, put a number on it. But again, I, would, I wouldn't say it's 50%. I would say maybe a little less than 50%, maybe 30% uh, difference there, okay? Uh, but uh, but they, they both come down quite a bit, okay? But I just wanted to do that comparison for the veggies, right? And then the meat between on your person and in the cooler, okay? And this has been roughly an hour, so 60 minutes of real-time gameplay that I've been testing this, okay? And I want to give it, uh, you know, a good uh, a good go. Now, this cranberry cob I put in here, same thing. Like, it's barely even even moved. So I crafted this, right? And uh, these Mylark egg, egg omelets, same thing. So these are these are uh, items that I crafted at the uh, cooking station. Okay, you could tell uh, they're barely barely even moved in here in the last hour. So it is my opinion that I highly recommend that you uh, look at this soft shell meat. The soft shell meat. So this is I put this in when it was about fifty percent. So it's almost done. It's almost done within this past hour. Just FYI. This, I put these in just to kind of show the difference. So when I put these in, they were 50% uh, full. And now it's just a small little, tiny little sliver left. All right, just FYI. Uh, but as my recommendation to you is that the coolers, refrigerators are worth it. Okay. The only downside is it does uh, tie in to the weight in your stash box. So, you know, our max is 1200. Okay. So if you put something in your refrigerator or your cooler, it's going to count towards that weight that you have in your uh, stash box. Right. So I just kind of wanted to go over that with you and I wanted to kind of show you this proof and I thought an hour would be a good way to, uh, you know, prove it to you. All right. Um, but from what I can see, you can't put drinks in here, even though it says food and drink. Uh, you guys know me <laughs> that I carry a lot of stuff. I carry a lot of stuff on my person. I am a huge hoarder. I have all kinds of food and drink. I have beer. I have alcohol. I have non-alcohol, Nuka Cola. I have everything. I've just purified water, whatever. I have it on me, and it doesn't even give me an option to put it in the fridge. All right. So FYI on that as well. Only food, and it ties into the weight of your stash box, the 1,200 max. All right. So I wanted to do that and show you, uh, answer that question in a video, and um, I hope it answers other people's questions as well. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out, and I hope you all have a nice day.